Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries by now silently praying Jesus many times. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, to my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, as blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, who are pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of the bishops, Saints Basil and Gregory, 
Vikrant, we pray that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is the liar? Whoever denies the Jesus is the Christ. Whoever denies the Father and the Son, this is the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father, but whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. Let what you heard from the beginning remain in you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that He made us eternal life. I write you these things about those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you received from Him remains in you, so that you do not need anyone to teach you. But his anointing teaches you about everything and is true and not false, just as it taught you remain in him. And now children remain in him, so that when he appears we may have confidence and not to be put to shame by him at his coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break unto song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through His Son. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. This is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him, to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elia? 
And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Sisters and brothers, as today is the 2nd of January, so today we remember two saints. Saint Basil and Saint Gregory. Both of them were bishops. Today's first reading teaches us that the faith that we have, we have to put it into practice and the way of practicing our Catholic faith is through our good behavior. And the Gospel reading gives us the need of always being humble like how Saint John the Baptizer was always humble. So next time when you are simply tempted not to behave properly, not to have the great virtue of humility, at once keep on praying Jesus, Mary, Joseph many times, so that you can start a new year with a good conduct and at the same time with real humility of heart and behavior. Amen. Hail Saint Eritus and Companions. Hail Saint Editors and Companions. Hail Saint Editors and Companions. <coughs> the Prayer of the Faithful for the 2nd of January. Saint John the Baptist consider himself unworthy of the work entrusted to him by God. Nevertheless, he fulfilled his mission in the spirit of service and humility. With the same spirit, let us approach the Father to assist us in our needs. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. That the servants of the Church may carry their task with humility 
and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. That civil authorities may have the sincere intention of working for the welfare of all citizens and seeking the common good instead of their own interest. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. That parents and teachers may inspire and encourage their children and students to persevere despite hardship and failure. Let us pray to the God. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. That the sick may feel secure by our love and care. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. O Lord, through Saint John, you teach us to become humble servants. Grant that we may follow his example and come to share a life in the kingdom by your Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for, for the praise and glory of His name, for, for our good, good and for good, good, good of all His holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of saints Basil and Gregory a means to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and, and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through Him the holy exchange that restores our life has shown forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Today is in memory of me. Mysterio Fidei As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Aldo, our Bishop, and all the clergy and the laity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We remember to pray for the souls in purgatory, for the forgotten souls, for the souls who have no one to pray for, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, with St. Gregory and Basil, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peaceful New Year greetings to everyone. Behold the lamp of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am Lord, not Lord, worthy. Then turn to my roof. But only say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saints Basil and Gregory, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. All together, O God, our Father, we praise and thank you for giving us saint editors and companions. We ask you to bless us with the same faith and courage they had 1500 years ago to proclaim your good news through the merits of their martyrdom. May all people see Jesus Christ in us so that all may feel your love and come to know you as God. Protect and guide us, listen to our prayers, and send us the Holy Spirit that be your church in the Arabian Peninsula. May always seek to do your will, grow in faith, and be attentive to the needs of others. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, Good intercession of Our Lady of Arabia. Amen. Saint Eretus and companions, pray, pray for, for us. us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Novena prayer to Saint Anthony. O holy Saint Anthony, the gentlest and kindest of all saints, your burning love of God, your exalted virtues, and your great charity towards your fellow creatures made you worthy when on earth to possess miraculous powers such as were given to no other saint. To the sick you gave back health, you restored what was lost, and the sorrow stricken were the objects of your tender compassion. Encouraged by this thought and convinced of the efficacy of your holy intercession, I kneel before your holy image and full of confidence. I implore you to obtain for me the favor that I now need. O gentle and loving Saint Anthony, you whose heart was ever full of human sympathy, whisper my prayers into the ears of the infant Jesus, who loved to linger in your arms. One word from you, and my prayer will be granted. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without death. Invocations to Saint Anthony. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. 
Pray for us. Saint Anthony of Padua. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, glory of the Seraphic Order. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, Ark of the Testament. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, Sanctuary of the Heavenly Wisdom. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, Despiser of the Vanities of the World. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, Conqueror of the Concupiscence. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, Prodigy of Penitence. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, Mirror of Obedience. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, Pearl of Poverty. Pray for us. St. Anthony, Lily of Heavenly Purity. Pray for us. St. Anthony, Model of Humility. Pray for us. St. Anthony, Ardent Lover of the Cross. Pray for us. St. Anthony, Martyr in Desire. Pray for us. St. Anthony, Furnace of Ardent Charity. Pray for us. St. Anthony, Guardian of Justice. Pray for us. St. Anthony, Evangelical Apostle. Pray for us. St. Anthony, Radiant Light Enlightening Sinners. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, terror of infidels. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, model of perfection. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, consoler of the afflicted. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, chastiser of crimes. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, defender of the innocents. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, liberator of captives. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, guide of wanderers. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, healer of the sick. Pray for us. St. Anthony, worker of miracles. Pray for us. St. Anthony, who did restore the speech to the dumb. Pray for us. St. Anthony, who did give hearing to the deaf. Pray for us. St. Anthony, who did give sight to the blind. Pray for us. St. Anthony, who did restore health to the crippled. Pray for us. St. Anthony, who did put the demons to flight. Pray for us. St. Anthony, who did restore the dead to life. Pray for us. St. Anthony, who did appease the fury of tyrants. Pray for us. St. Anthony, who did restore things that were lost Pray for us. from the snares of the devil saint anthony deliver us from the lightning and storm saint anthony deliver us by the powerful intercession saint anthony protect us through the whole course of our life saint anthony protect us lamp of god who takes away the sins of the world hear us o lord lamp of god who takes away the sins of the world hear us o lord lamp of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. Pray for us, O glorious Saint Anthony. That we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O most merciful God, who adorn with undying splendor your servant Saint Anthony, graciously grant that we may efficaciously obtain through his intercession that which we confidently pray for through his merits through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mm-hmm.